time to spend with my family. I have been more productive. I have actually studied more. I've actually been able to go ahead and make time for the things that are important. And I've been able to go ahead and actually see what's also trending. I've got a, you know, I've got a, I've got a couple of friends that were always looking for uh, what you would call your lucky break, you know, and, and and that and they actually found this a lot of this stuff online. For example, one of my uh, very good friends, his wife is actually a nurse, and they actually work out of a little hospital up in Idaho, and, and you know, it was funny because of the fact that I introduced him to somebody uh, through Facebook, and this particular person said, "Hey, I'm looking for right now." Um, and he says, you know, this particular day, Adam, I wasn't just search- I, w- I wasn't just like online, just hanging out. I was just actively looking for something. And I saw one of your friends, Adam, that actually posted that he had access to over a billion masks. And then there was actually some, you know, that he was looking for people. I connected him to, my, you know, we, I talked to him. I told him my wife was actually working for a hospital. And then she knew actually the hospital, uh, you know, uh, man- you know, whoever manages that hospital. And, and he was able to go ahead and make. Uh, you know, uh, you know, he's he's working in that transaction right now, and you know that's going to go ahead and, and, and pay him just with, with one, you know, with one deal, just being able to go ahead and pay him a six figure, you know, six figure thing. So you know, so therefore, there's a lot of incredible things that you're able to go ahead and do. I've got another friend of mine that actually just found, uh, you know, the ability to be able to go ahead and start their own business, kind of like clutter. Uh, where you know they're able, to, they're putting it away, and from you know it's a necessity for you know that somehow he's uh, able to go ahead and figure that out. That it's it's one of those uh, necessity type of businesses to be able to go in. So there's there's a million and two things. I have a guy, that, I have another guy that just started where he's like, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do a quarantine virus coaching uh, for people that are like introverts, for people that are like you know that have uh, you know. So there's a lot of people out there that have panic attacks. Of, uh, when they're in closed doors so therefore mm-hmm. you know he started having these uh, lessons and he started it two weeks ago with about 25 people uh two days ago uh what was it? i think it was sunday night um he actually had about 200 people there and, and that is wow. resulting into uh you know 15 dollar a month you know uh zoom calls weekly right so now that's grown and he's like that's gonna for, for you know be making you know my my rent get paid so th- listen there, I, I'm, I'm telling you this right now there really is a lot of things that a lot of new businesses that you don't even realize that you know that are going to go ahead and that, that exist right now that are going to go ahead and be created a lot of people that you know who are listening to this uh know somebody or even might be themselves the next billionaire or the next millionaire you 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 have to just open your eyes you cannot stop uh, you know, you cannot just be hiding under a rock. You have to open up your eyes and start looking for it, right? Right now, it's just, uh, you know, it's a great time uh, for the people that are, you know, that are looking, that want to go and start something great. Now, if you're looking at it from the perspective of the things you cannot do, you know, then also you have to understand that you also have a limited, you have, you'll have also limited thinking because you're focusing on the things that can happen. I can't leave my house. I can't do this. Nobody can do this. You know, when when you have a when you have that kind of mindset, right? Then also you'll also not find natural barriers that will go ahead and keep you from really exploring the possibilities that are out there. So what you have to do is you have to do. If people get to be home, instead of people having, instead of thinking to yourself, people can't leave the house. When you think about it, people now get to stay home safe. Now, if they get to stay home safe, what are some of the things that they get to do now? So we, we, it, it's all just a paradigm that you that you look at things, on, on how you look at things, you know, and, and that's ultimately what's going to go ahead and bring you the most success in your life. It's just your paradigm of looking. We all have 24 hours a day. It doesn't matter what your last name is, whether your last name is Rock, whether Rockefeller, whether your last name is, you know, no matter what, what your last name is, you know, you're going to go in and have 24 hours a day. What happens is what you create in those 24 hours a day. You know, if you're if you're a master net Netflixer and you, you know, you can tell me about everything that happens on every show, then, hey, that's going to probably, you know, that says a lot about you. You know what I mean? When people are, when people look at something, you know, I sometimes see people on my social media, that are, you know, they're like, I'm bored and what's the next show to go ahead and watch? You know what I mean? 
it is those right. people that are trying to go ahead and figure out, you know, what's going to what's going to go up. It's those people that are like waiting, you know, for something to be done for them. Um, you know, and, and, I, and I would tell you what you have to do is you have to take up, you know, aggressive approach right now because of the fact that you have to understand something. And that's the fact that this isn't going to last for a long time. You know, uh, I don't know how it's going to go and last. You know, I don't know the future. But what I do know is that it can't last forever. You know, uh, you know, the markets cannot be closed forever. You know, the, the market cannot be closed. The worst businesses cannot be closed forever. So if you want to understand that, you know, if you, even if this lasts a month, two months or three months, it's not going to last years. So therefore, that is a, what, that's called a small window. Right. So you what you have to be good at is get, helping people go through those windows with you right right now people that are venture capitals annual investors are now looking they're like what do i do with this you know because now they're looking to go ahead and put money into good businesses it's a lot easier i mean it's the easiest thing to find angel investors you know more than anything especially at times like this right so therefore what you have to do is you just have to be actively looking you have to understand that nobody's going to go ahead and knock on your door for opportunity you know nobody's going to go ahead and actually just email you an opportunity you know may, maybe you're one of those fortunate people you know that that, that happens to it you know but I, w- I would encourage you to go ahead and, uh, and be you know keep your eyes open but at the same time be also actively searching for not only something that you can do to create income but something that can go ahead and create something that can go ahead and do incredible things long term for you well, and, you know, you're reminding me of, you know, I'm a two-time Category 5 hurricane survivor, and I've talked to people who've interviewed um, refugees in war-torn regions where, um, like I saw on my island and the people in these regions, that they're sitting in the rubble, uh, immobilized, unable to take an action, and hoping, it's waiting for someone to come. Right. And, and there's a bit of that in the air around this global pandemic that, you know, we're waiting for for us something to come and make it all better, right? And yeah. to get us, um, to, to make, to let us know it's going to be okay, right? And I think that that's what you represent to me in the world and always have is that it's already okay. Everything's going to be okay. Just get into motion, take action. Yeah, yeah. everything, what, what you have to understand, everything will be fine. Um, things, you know, the, the, the tough times never last people do tough people do and that's one thing that you have to see is the like for you know the, the, there's out you know there was a long long time ago people would have all these just regular little rocks that were you know in their hut in their village you know that they're like well this has no value nobody wants this somebody else came over there right and they're like oh my gosh why don't we call this a diamond and then what they did is they, they, you know, they went off. And while it was like, well, it was this, for some people, it was rocks, it was muddy, it was somebody else saw it, and they're like, hey, let's turn this little rocks that have no value. Let's add a story to it, right? Let, let's add a perception piece into this because perception is everything, right? Like, some, you know, somebody asked me the other day, they're like, how do you know how much a painting's worth? You know, I was actually watching a movie. I think it was called, uh, I don't remember, it was, it was the guy from James Bond. I don't remember what the movie was called. Um, anyways, it was just, uh, you know, somebody asked me that. Like, how do you know what the art is worth? You know, like, there's all these art galleries that are, you know, that are putting their piece in. If, I don't know, you, Christian, you've probably been to a lot of these, even in Beverly Hills, <laughs> like, two, three, four hundred thousand dollar piece, a million. It's like, who puts a price on this? It's all just perception and the stories that you put into it. People buy into stories, right? Uh, yes. You look at, for example, why I told my story at the very beginning is so that people know a little bit of where I came from. But if I would have been just been some random guy that was successful, there's no story behind that. There's a, mil- there's a billion people that are successful out there. But what is your story? What is different about you, right? And uh, I would tell you the fact that every single – listen, I'm going to tell you guys a big secret. The money is already printed. All you have to do is just go get a piece. That's all you got to do. <laughs> I love that. It's already that printed. Awesome. You just got to go get a little piece of it. That's it. And, and, and uh, whatever your piece is, it, it's, it's, it's completely up to you. 
Well, I, you know, I can't think of more inspirational message to leave our listeners with in this extraordinary conversation, Adam. It's been so uplifting to be reminded so powerfully from somebody who's tread that path, regardless of what's going on on around him to achieve your goals and to keep doing it and to keep serving and bringing value. I'm so honored to have you here on the show today and everybody listening. He's coming back and we are going to talk about the number one uh, career opportunity and how to build true wealth in our next show. So Adam, thank you so much for being on this week and I look forward to having you as our guest next week. Well, Take I can't care, wait. Everybody. Always so privileged. Uh, thank you guys so much, and I'll see you guys next time. Fantastic. Thanks, everybody.